when was the first time plans for a collaboration were discussed? Well, I think、uh, it's been a while actually. I think Nopara had asked me way back in 2019 or early 2020, maybe, if there was some form of BTC Pay and Wasabi integration that we could do. But back then, it was、uh, neither、uh, Wasabi nor BTC Pay were ready for that kind of interoperability.、Um, once the Wabi Sabi update went live, I think early,、uh, earlier last year, and then we started to, to talk things again. I think I built a proof of concept、uh, that actually worked in around, no joke, two weeks、uh, back in August last year. But then, but there were still a lot of missing pieces in BTCP and Wasabi to get things going, to get something great out. Right after Honey Badger and Riga,、uh, I started to pick it up again, and、uh, we had a good release candidate by maybe January. So, yeah. How big was the team behind the plugin? <laughs> yeah, you're speaking to the entire team. There's a lot of,、uh, you start feeling lonely with this kind of stuff. Like, you're always like in your own little echo chamber, constantly working on your own.、Uh, it's hard to figure out if you're working on something useful or if it's just something cool that you thought of. There is chaos and there's also less chaos because you don't have to argue with people about what you want to build and how you want to build it. And there's also chaos in that you build stuff that will feel useless in a week. I had a couple of features that I probably ended up removing just because they felt too much. I had some of the Wasabi guys、uh, helping me out to test things out to see everything is working okay. I've also had it running like for a long time as well, just making sure everything runs smoothly and whatnot. So, yeah,、uh, loads of people showed interest in it as well early on. So, I gave them early access to it to get some feedback, see how they use it.、Uh, seems like it went okay so far. How does the plugin work? So, it's actually pretty simple.、Um, the, way you, the way this whole thing works is BTC Pay、uh, introduced a kind of like a plugin store, maybe, I don't know, it's probably been a year or two now. And what it does is it will show you all the available plugins that you can install. And、uh, this specific one will show up as Wabi Sabi Coin Join. You click install and you're ready to go.、Um, if you have a store configured with a hot wallet, you can just、uh, go to the Coin Join page now, which shows up after you install.、Uh, you select the coordinator you want to use and you click save. And it will automatically start coin joining with some default settings. Do you have a favorite feature? Oh, yeah. So, my favorite feature so far is the payment batching.、Um, if you wanted to get your Bitcoin private, but also do、uh, like send out payments at the same time, it's like the perfect feature. The receiver doesn't even get to learn what your, what your wallet looks like, what your UTXOs are. So, it's, it's really a great fit for a Bitcoin payment processor like BTC Pay. I have quite a few features in there.、Uh, it's hard to actually remember most of them <laughs> at this point, but、uh, there's, um, there's the cross mixing feature I think will be kind of interesting later on, depending on how things play out.、Um, so, if you, you can connect to like multiple coordinators at the same time, and you can be mixing some coins on one, some coins on the other one. Like you can actually mix coins from and gain anonymity from two different、uh, liquidity pools of coin joints. So it's actually a lot harder to analyze them, at least from what I can think of from, a, from an external point of view. There's also the coordinator runner,、uh, that's pretty cool too. So you can basically, with just two, two,、uh, two clicks, you can just start running your own coordinator and people can connect to it. And then the coordinator also gets advertised、uh, through Nostar. So people can find them and discover different coordinators、uh, without having to meet up in person or, or somebody posting a link to, to the coordinator somewhere.、Uh, it's all automated, you can see them. What makes the Wabi Sabi coin join protocol unique?、Uh, Wabi Sabi is great.、Um, It brings so much flexibility in how it,、uh, in how it works since the,、uh, you can do arbitrary amounts inside it. Traditional coin joins usually only allow you to register outputs of exact amounts. So let's say 0.1,、uh, like what V1 used to do. With the arbitrary amounts, you can do stuff like the payment batching, which is super cool. And eventually, you can even do、uh, internal payments directly inside the Wabi Sabi coin join because it has this cool e cash system built into it. There's so much stuff you can build on it. That's why I love it. Do you think this plugin will change the way people look at CoinJoin? I don't think it's going to change the attitude around CoinJoin. I think that's already, the fate of that has already been decided over the years. I just hope it shows people that you can actually use CoinJoin for other things than just achieving privacy. Like the payment batching feature, it's also meant to help merchants like, process their refunds,、uh, handle paying their suppliers, that kind of stuff, without having to reveal your UTXO sets. So you're not just doing a A Bitcoin transaction to make yourself private. You're also doing a Bitcoin transaction because you want to transact. What were some of the biggest challenges while developing the plugin? <laughs> Definitely trying to avoid adding more stuff to it. It was basically a constant influx of、uh, finding 
like finding a like the sweet spot of getting something ready and you're like okay this is great and it's like oh but i can't release for another week or two like okay maybe i'll add this new feature in <laughs> so that was kind of tricky to to stop myself from doing more uh also making sure to keep up to date with all the wasabi code base because uh, there's so many devs at wasabi at this point building so many things at the same time but uh yeah that's that was a bit of a challenge but it worked out what do you think the future holds for bitcoin privacy <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm a bit of a pessimist uh, on this stuff, actually. I think the future looks pretty dark on anything resembling freedom. Um, even Bitcoin is kind of taken over with KYC and custodial services, and it feels like a constant battle to, to offer alternatives. I think we have a long way to go to get Bitcoin more private, more fungible, but it's, it's definitely the path I want to take. Should we expect more features in the future for the plugin? Depends on how people uh, respond to to the usage of it, yeah, definitely. I definitely want to build a lot more stuff on it. I want to build um, additional stuff that utilizes uh, the eCash system inside uh, Wabi Sabi so that you can do payments directly inside the coin join where the sender and receiver are directly inside. So a sender never learns what the where the receiver receives his money and the receiver never learns where the sender uh, sent from, uh, stuff like that. Also a bit more stuff so that you don't need to run uh, for example, an HTTP server to, to run uh, a coordinator. Maybe you can just do it all through Gnostar communication. There's so many things I want to build. It's just you run out of time at some point. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the interview. And yeah, great job. Thank you. Thank you.